Good morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the pre-market game plan for the major futures indices, gold and oil for today. It is Wednesday, it is November 22nd, 8.18 a.m. Eastern Time. So let's begin by looking at the markets. Um, we had a climactic run into yesterday's trading session and uh, we had a very shallow pullback in the overnight trading. Uh, we had a little break out into uh, 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, followed, uh, followed by a range that has developed throughout the Asian, uh, throughout the uh, London session. Uh, 558 is the new support level that we're going to be looking at, and the new resistance level is at 588. We have a new high, and this is a new high of the year, all time high, 23,599. And uh, the way I see it right now, pullbacks into uh, pullbacks into the uh, 66 level may be viable for a continuation higher. If this is going to remain and if this is going to be the range of the day, uh, we will be looking to buy pullbacks into the uh, 66 level, even into the 70 level from uh, from 70 level all the way into 80 and 90 level. This is uh, literally scalp territory right here if we're going to be maintaining this range. So as you can see, new breakout that is happening right here, new projected targets for Dow today and in the following days are 630, 23700, 717, uh, 23,800, and as you can see, there are further targets all the way into the 23,925. So these are the further targets for the Imini Dow. Pullbacks are going to be considered viable in this index and the range that we're looking at, like I've mentioned before, I'm gonna say once again, from 70 all the way to 80 and 90 for the scalp, even 99. So uh, always go into the direction of the bigger trend. Um, it is safer to do so. All right, let's take a look at the m and S&P 500. Keep in mind that the markets uh, will be will carry lower volume than usual today ahead of the holidays. This also promotes trend continuation. So this is the reason why we will be looking for scalps to the long side in the first hour of trading today. Keep in mind that the New York uh, market will be closed tomorrow and will reopen with short hours uh, on Friday. So New York session will begin as usual at 9.30 on Friday, but we'll, uh, we'll um, close at 1.15. All right, so let's take a look at the E-mini S&P 500, all-time high at 2,600 in yesterday's trading session. Um, we had a very shallow pullback into 2,594.5. Um, ranging again, uh, uh, ranging again, not managing to make a new high, although we will be looking at this cluster area from 95 right here, even 96. If we are going to get a pullback to 90, uh, 96, uh, even 97. So 97 is going to probably be the entry. It depends on how it's going to set up at the open. But keep in mind, this is scalp territory, and uh, we will be looking probably for a scalp from 2596. Probably the stop is going to be 95 and a half, and we're going to be looking for follow through all the way into this 2600. So as long as this process go is going to repeat itself, this possibility of the scalp will be working in the New York trading session. So uh, throughout the London session, we've seen that from 96 uh, to 98 and a half, this was the range, this was the playable range. And uh, traders took it higher here, close to um, seven o'clock and uh, almost forced it into 2600.5. So once again, 97 to uh, 97 or 96 all the way, 96 and a half all the way to the 2600. And this is gonna be my theme for this morning, if this is going to happen. Uh, let's take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ, very, very strong. New Ulta has 63, 6, 63, 93. Very shallow pullback as well. 63, 75.29. We have for a low and we have a push into the 7 a.m. 7 um, also, keep in mind, we will be looking for scalps today. So pullbacks into the 80 may be viable with a target into 90, possibly 93, and for a continuation higher, the following targets uh, are set for NASDAQ today and in the following days. 
6400, 6406, 6431, 6450, 6500, and 6508. So these are the targets moving forward for today and in the following days. Shorting not an option, but we will look for pullbacks that may be viable due to the fact that we've had we have been consolidating very very um, um, very strongly at this level one of the biggest gainers russell russell is acting very very bullishly shallow pullback and it is the trend that keeps on going we will be looking for pullbacks into the 1519 1520 for follow through into the 1523 uh, Further targets for Russell to the upside, any pullbacks may be viable, and I'm looking for uh, uh, buying these pullbacks, especially as they occur uh, throughout the day today. If they should occur throughout the day today, yesterday we did almost have no pullbacks. No pull. We did Actually, we didn't have any kind of pullbacks uh, when we look at the charts that we're analyzing in the indices. Um, 1526 is the next target, uh, followed by 1533, uh, uh, and there is another target at 1550, and that is going to be, uh, th these are going to be uh, today and uh, following day's targets for Russell. So Russell seems to be the strongest one, pullbacks to the 20, may have to follow through to the 26. All right, let's take a look at uh, gold, and gold is perky this morning uh double bottom here in fact we have a triple bottom at um 1275.5 uh, from which it bounced yesterday shallow pullback throughout the overnight trading session 1278 and right now trying to push higher uh the next target that we see it's going to be once again 1290 we're still in that swing trade long which is acting really really nice uh, this was the opportunity here into the 1280 to add for um, if you sold a part of your uh, contracts, part of your position, this was the time to leg in once again. It's because you had a really tighter stop than the initial stop. All right, so moving forward for targets, we're going to be looking obviously at the 1290 area. We're going to be looking into this congestion at 92. Uh, 95 and 1300 we will be looking for that 1300 at last target we'll be looking at 1306 1307 level all right let's take a look at oil this morning and oil seems to be very active in this uh, morning we had an accelerator run uh, nothing new in the um, into the extended session very shallow pullback 5761 new high and we have a new high on the year 58 dollars right now 55 dollars remains uh remains support weekly support which all the weekly and daily support right here um and this is going to promote this for price to continue higher keep in mind there is an overhead resistance very close at 58.30 so um this is going to be a little bit problematic since it has a target here at 58.30. But other than that, if it's going to manage to uh, chew through that resistance area and the fact that it's consolidating here is just showing us that it may be ready to pop a little higher. Keep in mind, the next target for oil is going to be uh, 58.50 and we're going to be looking at 58.70 for today. This is all for now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys back here on Monday. Thank you and have a great holiday.